What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the channel and I am here to finally announce the huge project that I've been leading you guys on for probably almost more than a month now. So the project is going to be a throwback garage build two-stroke shootout. I know there's a couple guys who actually guessed it on my Instagram, so props and kudos to you guys who actually guessed that right, but that is actually what is going down, guys, with these bikes, and I couldn't be more excited to bring the content and everything about the project and the builds to you guys through video. So to break it down in a little bit more detail, I'm gonna be doing four garage builds for each of the bikes that you see here, and they're gonna be themed after the most iconic riders from that era in the sport from the early to mid 2000s. And I just wanna let you guys know that they're not going to be exact replicas of those models. I like to put my little twist on things, but the theme that I'm going for is kind of what I did with the Chevy Trucks Cowie that you've already seen. So I've kind of got the 01 Carmichael graphics on there, but I put my little twist and tricks to, to the bike to make it unique in my own. So, all the way on the right here, we have a 2005 YZ250, and if you guessed it, that is going to be the man, the myth, the legend, my favorite rider of all time. It's gonna be a number 22 Chad Reed factory Yamaha replica. Right here, we have a 2006 RM250 Suzuki, and this bad boy is going to be a Travis Pastrana Sobe Suzuki factory racing replica from the 2003, so it's kind of that got that 2003 graphics if you guys want to Google that. And who doesn't love Travis Pastrana, let's be real. I was thinking about doing Carmichael, but I think I've got a Carmichael option for these two bikes, which I can't figure out, which I need your help for. So this right here is a 2004 CR250, and Honestly, guys, I love the Carmichael Woody Woodpecker graphics from that time. I'm trying to figure out if I want to make this bike the Carmichael bike or make it a McGrath replica from 05. So with the 04 bike, it was the, the whole shroud was the Woody Woodpecker, but with McGrath, um, it's kind of got the Honda Racing Wing logo and the smaller Woody Woodpecker. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Guys, leave a comment below and maybe by popular vote, I'll, I'll decide what I want to do with this bike. But last but not least is my 2007 KX250 Chevy Trucks replica right now. You guys have seen it, you guys love it. I'm trying to figure out what the heck I want to do with that one too. So the option is to kind of keep it the Chevy Trucks theme and make that the Carmichael bike and make the Honda the McGrath or do you guys, would you guys rather see a JS259 factory Suzuki either with the Team Chevy trucks from that early, when he was on 2004, 2005, that era, or the actual factory KX250, SR250, whatever they called it back then with kind of a just plain Jane stock graphics. Um, it's not really plain Jane, but, but I've got a decision to make on that. So if you guys want to leave comments below on what bikes, on what theme you guys want to see for the Honda and Kawasaki, I need your help desperately. Now to go a little bit deeper into the project, this isn't just going to be me evaluating this bike. I'm actually turning this into a pro rider shootout. So three, I'm gonna have four riders total and three of the riders are gonna be pro riders who are gonna be evaluating this bike. So these two strokes are gonna be screaming when they ride them. And then the fourth rider is gonna be me who's gonna be on here to kind of give that novice, amateur and vet rider evaluation of these bikes if you guys are in the market. Um, I think it kind of humanizes things a little bit and um, it's cool to see the pros, but then if I get on there and evaluate them, it kind of humanizes it for the majority of the population. So you guys can get a feel if you're in the market and want to purchase one of these bikes, um, you have a better idea of what you're getting into. I'm super stoked to announce that one of the pro riders that's already confirmed he's going to be a part of the shootout is AJ Catanzaro. And if you guys don't know who he is, Google him, YouTube him. He is uh, currently out there qualifying for AMA Supercross race right now and has been a pro motocross and supercross um, racer for many many years now he's also got his AJ Catton Zero Moto X Academy so you know AJ knows how to ride a bike and dissect it and really evaluate it to the best of his knowledge and abilities you guys didn't also know AJ is super famous for riding the Travis Pastrana 125 bike at the Red Bull straight rhythm a couple years ago he literally got a little bit squirrely got out of hand launched himself off this jump and completely Travis Pastrana esque Superman himself to the flat, landed somehow, and then kept going and finished the run. It was the most insane thing I've ever saw. I think when I watched it, I completely lost my breath, and you can just see the crowd's faces and everybody's jaws just drop because it was crazy. And it, you got, if you haven't seen it, 
definitely go YouTube that right now. The AJ Catanzaro, Travis Pastrana, Red Bull Straight Rhythm. So super stoked to have AJ a part of this project. So thank you to him. Which brings me to all the sponsors helping me out. If I didn't have them, their support, I couldn't pull this off. Absolutely not. Um, so very appreciative of all the sponsorship support and partnerships that I've worked out to help kick this project off. And the first and main sponsor that I want to announce for this project is gonna be Electron Fuel Systems. And you guys guessed it. Each one of these bikes is going to be outfitted with Electron 38 H-Series carb. So this is a no jetting zone that we're talking about here. And I couldn't be more happy to have Electron a part of it. It's gonna be awesome having the Electrons on these bikes and not have to worry about breaking the screwdriver out, breaking the wrenches out, and jetting these bikes. Next up, we have Pro Circuit. And honestly, guys, who does not love Pro Circuit? You've seen the Pro Circuit works pipe and the TI2 Shorty Silencer on the Kawasaki already. Pro Circuit is gonna be outfitting all these bikes with work, works pipes and the R304 silencers. So thanks to Pro Circuit on that and I couldn't be more stoked to have Pro Circuit aboard. Another main sponsor that we have is Guts Racing. So you guys have already seen the Guts Racing seat cover on the KX250. Andy Gregg at Guts is the man, so he's gonna be helping us out and we're gonna be outfitting all these bikes with Guts Racing seat covers. Next sponsor I want to announce is going to be O'Neill. Got the gloves on. I'm sure you guys are wondering why the heck I'm wearing gloves. It's a little chilly in the garage right now, but O'Neill is gonna be one of the main sponsors. AJ's sponsored by O'Neill. And we're gonna be looking fresh in that O'Neill gear. Hashtag enjoy the ride. So next up we have All Balls Racing Group. So the engine is a huge part of these builds, making sure each one of these bikes has a fresh motor and ready to go for the shootout. So All Balls is gonna be supplying wrench rabbit kits for all these bikes. And if you guys don't know what wrench rabbit kits are, they're easy one-stop shop kits to completely rebuild the motor. I didn't do that with the KX250, but we're gonna be doing that with all these bikes here and couldn't be happier to have them aboard for the project. As far as plastics go, Aturbis is gonna be helping us out and outfitting all the bikes with plastic, so thanks to Aturbis. Um, next up is graphics. I'm a huge fan and advocate for Mellow Design Co. I'm originally from upstate New York and Tyler Hayes, the one who runs Mellow Design Co. is an upstate New Yorker as well. And Tyler's gonna be hooking it up and making sure that the theme that I want is going to come alive with these bikes. So it's gonna be the factory Yamaha for the Chad Reed. It's gonna be the Sobe Suzuki, the Woody Woodpecker, Carmichael or McGrath. And then you guys already know, I'm trying to figure out, keep the Chevy trucks or go the James Stewart SR250 route. So thanks to Tyler at Mellow Designs for helping me out. And guys, don't hesitate to reach out to him because he will get you hooked up with any type of graphic that you want. How can we forget about Prime MX and Cameron Namilla? I'm gonna be using Cameron's buffing and cleaning wheel to make sure everything is looking spick and span on these bikes, especially like all the motor parts and possibly triple clamps here. But thank you to Cameron and Prime MX for help supplying the buffing pads and wheels. And if you guys are interested in picking some of these pads up for yourself, I've got the link in my description below so you can go right to, right to the products that I use and purchase them for yourself and get your bikes looking fresh. Next sponsor to announce who's on board is Mika Metals. Mika Metals is gonna be supplying all the handlebars and chains and sprockets for the build. I'm pretty pumped about that because they really have some unique designs as far as handlebars go. I can't wait to uh, test out their chain wheels as well. So thanks to Mika Metals for hopping on board with the project. And then finally guys, we've got MX Locker on board. If you don't know who MX Locker is, they're actually an online selling platform for all used dirt bike parts. Say you have a pipe that you need to sell, that it's not really working on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, you can post it on MX Locker and they have a vast network of people on there looking for parts right now. So you could sell that pipe in the blink of an eye if you go post to MX Locker. So there's a bunch of parts on these bikes that I probably won't be using that are still actually in good shape um, to sell. I'll be posting those parts on MX Locker. So thanks to those guys for helping me out. But guys, this is what I am seriously most excited to announce. And I think I went off my ride I fell off the wagon, but this is the most insane thing and what's gonna be most crazy about this project. All four of these bikes, I'm giving away. That's right, I'm giving away all four of these bikes. I have no clue what the heck I'm thinking, but I... <laughs> <laughs> Got a big smile on my face because just the thought of giving these bikes away and someone receiving these bikes is just, oh man, it's so, it's so fulfilling. But here's the kicker. 
one of the th one of the four bikes I'm giving away completely for free. And that's gonna be the first bike I give away. So whoever is the winner of that bike, they get free reign to choose whatever bike they want. Do they want the Chad Reed Yamaha, the Travis Pastrana Suzuki, the CR250, or I'm about to shed a tear, but my beloved KX250, that is on the chopping block as well. So the first winner of these bikes is getting free reign to whatever they want to choose. So guys, imagine that and put yourself in that position where you are just announced the winner of one of these bikes and you're just going bananas. A little while later, you've got the delivery truck backing up into your driveway, unloading one of these like pretty much brand new fresh bikes. How exciting would that be? But one simple caveat that we have here, guys, in order for you to win a completely free bike, no purchase necessary is that if we can rally the troops together and if my YouTube channel can hit 1,000 subscribers and my Instagram page hits 15,000 followers, you guys now have the chance to win a completely free motorcycle. That's it, that's simple. After that, you will have a chance to win the rest of the three bikes, but I'm going to be raffling them off. All in all, you could have four chances to win one of these bikes here. So. I'm super stoked to announce that guys. Stay tuned to the channel because you're not gonna wanna miss a minute of what I've got going on. There you have it. That's the project that I've waited to announce for over a month now. It's gonna be a throwback two-stroke garage build shootout and it's gonna be awesome. So guys, what's coming next is videos and breakdowns of each of these bikes. I'm gonna be doing teardown videos, rebuild videos, how-tos, product reviews for all the, all, the, all the companies and sponsors that I'm currently working with right now. Finally guys, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because in order to win, you need to be subscribed. Also go follow me on Instagram, at Greg Hitchcock, because that's where I'm gonna be giving the most up-to-date announcements on the project. If you guys haven't already, catch my weekly brap dates because there will be updates and announcements there. So like I said, you're not gonna wanna miss a thing and I'm super stoked to finally have announced the project. Guys, I appreciate the support and we will see you in the next video. Peace.